Donation games, one of the easiest ways to earn Robux in all of Roblox. You sit there and people donate to you. But what if I push these games to their limits? If I try my absolute best, how many Robux could I earn within the span of 24 hours? Will it even be worth my time? And to make things fair, I'll start from scratch in a brand new account with no sales from friends or anything. Only me and my intuition. So goodbye for now, Tempest. Say hello to Fart Money 45. Beautiful name, I know. Join me as I conquer these lands and get as many Robux as possible in 24 hours. So there's two main donation games in Roblox, and I'll be spending about 12 hours at each of them. First, I'll be playing Serving Artists. This is a game where you can draw whatever you want, and then you can sell for whatever you want. At around 10 a.m., I hopped on my computer and I was ready to start. First thing I did was look at other people's art. I had to see what I was up against. And I was actually pretty impressed. <coughs> oh, my bad. If I was gonna make any sales, I'd have to make something really, really cool. And my first idea? A hot air balloon. Which is kinda cool. I started drawing, and you could actually see the visible confusion I was going through. Uh... Yeah, I had no idea what I was doing. Dude, what? After about 10 minutes of painting, I was finally done with my first piece. Yeah, not so bad, right? I put it up for sale for 10 Robux, then I want to go customize my avatar. Maybe a more attractive character could get me more sales. And there it is, the most beautiful avatar you've ever seen in your entire life. On the way back, I noticed the stand next time I was actually getting really popular. And it was my time to try to get some first customers. Hello, can someone climb mine? I worked really hard on it. You'll make it 10. I can't. Mine is only 10. Oh yeah, it didn't go well at all actually. I gave up and I started drawing something else. This drawing was okay, but my next one... An absolute masterpiece. That's probably in like the, the top 10 apple trees ever. I realized it costed Robux to sell more than three things at a time, so it was just a waiting game now. I looked around a little bit, and then I switched servers to hopefully find someone that could buy my art. Didn't really have much luck. I found some cool art, but then I saw this guy. This guy's outfit went spectacular, especially his big round head though. So I stole his look entirely. I had to. I was feeling so confident in myself. I climbed up a tree. I switched servers again, and then I remembered a piece of art that really inspired me earlier. So I was off to drawing again. After I got done drawing, it was the end of hour one. I had earned absolutely nothing in the past hour of playing this stinky game. At the very least, I had some cool art to sell, but it was gonna be a lot more difficult than I expected. But as I was switching servers, I heard footsteps in the back end of my game. There was a guy named Real Nick the Savage. Best name ever. He stared deeply at my painting and said, I got really? Was Real Nick the Savage really going to be my first sale? Yes. And there it was. My first sale ever. Thank you so much. I was so happy about those 10 Robux, I had a little dance. And then I worked on my next piece, which was inspired by the legendary Real Nick the Savage, of course. As you play this game, you earn coins. With these coins, I was able to buy a new frame for my hot air balloon. But on my way back, I noticed someone was at my stand. Wow. Thank Just like that, so another sale. My awesome apple tree painting was sold to someone named Admiral. After they bought my apple tree though, they told me to add another game pass so they could buy more art. And I obliged, of course. And they bought a second one! Thank you so 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 much. You should change this one too. Sure. But this time, we have like 50. Really? Yeah, they asked me to make a game pass for 50 Robux. Yeah, sure. Heck, put it at 100. 100 Robux? Oh my goodness. Seriously? Yes. Very seriously. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you, 100 Robux. You have no idea how thankful I am. Thank you so much. Yeah, you could see how thankful I was. But yeah, I really didn't know what to say. I was really happy at the time. So I drew this painting that expressed my feelings. And then I saw they were taking free requests. I mean, heck yeah. So I asked them to draw my favorite cartoon character, Finn from Adventure Time. And that's pretty much how the rest of the hour went. I was more than happy with what I'd earned. Sadly, I couldn't buy it, but the art turned out really, really good. I did, however, join on my phone. And I tried to buy it, but someone beat me to it. <laughs> this person is willing to show so much kindness towards some random noob like me, though. So I found a shirt that they made, and I think I bought it like 27 times. And after that, they offered to buy even more art from me. But I respectfully declined. I sent them one last heartfelt message, and I was on my way to a new server. I hope the kindness that they showed to me comes back around to them someday. Also, this video aside, don't go harass this person for Robux. I shouldn't even have to say this, but there's probably some slimy, greedy goblins trying to earn some bread themselves. If you want, play this game for yourself, but don't go hunting for anyone from this video. 
sold. Now that most of my art was sold, I had to make more. I made a picture of a cat sitting on a table, put it up for sale, and then I went to go indulge in a nice, delicious sandwich. I came back really happy for my sandwich, but nothing was sold. So I switched servers. I did a lot of waiting around. People complimented my art a lot, but nothing really sold. But looking around, one thing I saw a lot of were these really realistic pictures. I mean, it's pretty obvious that none of them are actually drawn. Like, I found this exact image on Google. It's not even Sonic, that's Tails. I looked into it a little bit, and it seems like most of them are actually cheated in using scripts. Man, people actually cheat in this game. If you're someone that buys stuff in this game, you might as well buy something cool and original. Like, for example, Sonic-themed hedgehogs. They're so cool. He's so cool. I drew a cool sword, and then it was a waiting game again. Please buy my art for 15 Rubox. I don't have any. Sorry. This is all pending. Please. I'm changed. I have zero. Thanks. Strange. Hi. Hi. Can you not take from me? I don't have any Robux, sorry. It had been nearly four hours since my last donation. And I was getting pretty discouraged. As you saw before, some people are like door-to-door -door salesmen. Uh, I didn't want to try that. So it was just a lot of waiting around. But eventually, someone ran up and finally bought new stuff for me. And they bought two things for me, which made me feel a lot better. And then I noticed my main man laughability showed up to give me some support. Fart money rolling in the money. Also, we both sound a little bit sick in this video because we were both recovering from uh, a, a silly virus. Yippee! immediate problem I see with this business, right, doesn't stand out, you know? It blends in, it's tree. Now, now it's just like all the other boots. Alright, how about this? Now it blends in. What booth options do you get as a disappointing little noob? <laughs> Nothing, man. I, I gotta join the group and then I get the tree one. Uh, or I could, I could verify my Twitter, but I'm not... Should I do that? Should I see what that looks like? You should verify your Twitter. There you go, fart money 45 Wait, this person took my... Dude, this, this is my art! They just bought this from me! What? And they're selling it for 2000 What? Well, I made money off of it. They haven't yet, so it doesn't matter to me. Alright, let's see what this booth looks like. Whoa! Oh, yes, sir! <laughs> Say that the bullies never thought you would succeed, and you want to prove them wrong. <laughs> Gaslighter, you want to buy my thing? Yeah, painting. that's a good strategy. Just start gaslighting her. Let's see if she has a... I have no more Robux. Oh, oh. Abandoned ship, abandoned ship. <laughs> she has no more Robux. Oh, it's, who's that handsome man? Who's that little guy? What is your obsession with telling people you want new hats? <laughs> They'll see my bald little head and be like, wow, he really does need a hat. I saw your bald little head, and I thought that this guy could go with a hat, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, how about that one? Want new hat. <laughs> Would like a new hat. Ah, oh, see, this changes everything. <laughs> After some fun talks with friends, I decided on something new. I wanted to look at popular iPhone wallpapers to see what people really liked. Whoa, look at that one. Whoa. Whoa. Are you kidding me? And I eventually settled on this mysterious man. And trying to draw this guy was an absolute roller coaster. Yes, I'm getting somewhere with this. Uh, this is not looking as good as I thought it would be. We're looking real good. We're looking extra good right now. Mystery man. Around this time, you could tell I was getting pretty bored. This is what six hours of playing this game does to you. What's going on? Why are we all dancing? I'll be back. I'm going to go to get some snacks. Um, yes. Eventually, after a lot of waiting around, I looked at my art and thought to myself, Huh. I could do so much better. So, I left. And I went to go search for... Inspiration. I'm not gonna act like this wasn't an excuse to leave the game or add more story to the video, but it was actually really nice to take a break. And there are also just so many cool places to see. If you want to play these for yourself, they'll be in Fort Money 45's favorites. While I was being inspired by every corner of Roblox, I got an idea. I have a friend named Bree, and I've seen her playing starving artists all the time. She probably knows a lot about the game, so I could just ask her for advice. I went all out and I made a place to interview her. 
you already know, I had to show up in the striped gray business coat. Luckily, she was available, and Laugh was my cameraman. This seat's mine, Brie. This seat's mine. How much art do you sell on average? A lot of the time I go AFK. When I wake up, it's usually all of it is gone. Really? Going AFK had really done nothing for me. So I moved on to another question. Out of everything you sold, what, what sells the best? What, what do you think? Cats. Cats? Yeah, cats. That's it? Yeah. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was well, we got gotten somewhere at least. Maybe drawing all these fancy things was an oversight in my part. Everybody loves cute animals, so I might as well draw them. Can you donate me? Can we donate me? Can we donate me? Can we donate me? This cat drawing was special. It was actually based on my cat, who was sleeping right next to me at the time. My sand was now fully stocked with the cutest cat drawings in the game, and I was ready to start selling them. But for the entire next hour, nothing happened at all. No one even looked at my art. And this guy walked up to me and he's like, oh, I'm gonna buy your art. Did it. It should take a while. What do you mean a while? You put it on a credit card or something? It doesn't work like that. Not entirely sure what he was trying to do. Maybe just give me false hope. And then someone showed up to fill the hole in my heart, left by that evil man. And they actually bought my art. Cool. While I was waiting around, I spent a lot of time looking at other art. Here's a quick compilation of all the best art I saw while playing this game. But this piece of art takes the cake. And now that you've looked at this, you might as well use my star code, right? Whenever you use my code, Roblox pays me a little commission. So it's one of the best ways to directly support me. Whenever you're buying Robux or Premium, you just put in tempers right there, bam. I appreciate you listening, and hopefully I can work on that upload schedule soon. This video took me three months. <laughs> and jokes aside, this piece of art is the best. So good. And I went back to my sand and I drew a dog for the sake of variety. I named it Joshua after this dog. I want to save you the time. The next few hours were dog poop. Dog poop, I say. In this footage, you can see it's just a lot of me walking around and waiting. I was barely even acknowledged, though. It sucked. So all that character development and me getting inspired, it's kind of for nothing, because I only got one sale that whole time, but it was fun. And that's all that really matters. But I do wonder why I did so terribly at the end. Was it the time of day? Was I getting unlucky? Who really knows? But it had officially been 12 hours, so I could switch games now. But wait. Would you like to buy a leasing? XD. I left with my soul a little bit crushed. Hey, but at least I was done with that game. In the remaining 12 hours, I'd be playing a game called Please Donate. I believe it's the most popular donation game in Roblox. It's similar to serving artists, but instead of selling art, you sell nothing. There are some ways to get creative with it, but for the most part, it's a lot of waiting around. This actually worked out in my favor though, because I wanted to go to bed soon. I joined, I set up my stand, and then shortly after, this happened. What? My stand wasn't too special, but I didn't have any great ideas yet. I waited around for an hour and nothing happened at all. I had an hour before I wanted to go to bed, so I needed to do something different if I wanted any sales. So I started begging people for Robux like a peanut brain. I started out by asking people for four or five Robux, but this quickly got nowhere. Please, can someone give me four Robux? Can you give me four? Next, I tried taking my game passes off sale to maybe appear more humble, but this didn't affect anything. Can anyone donate? I only need eight Robux. Can anyone donate? I only need eight Robux. Please, only eight. No one has donated to me. Scorch, can you donate to me? I only need it. Can anyone donate to me? Can anyone donate to me? I only need can anyone donate to me? I walked up to these two friends that were talking about me and I asked them for Robux. And they slowly turned away and started talking about school to each other. Ouch, you know that that's kinda cold. I understand people can be annoying in this game, but they could have just said no. Can anyone spare eight Robux? And then I found this absolute legend. This guy offered to give me four Robux, which was supposedly all he had. I appreciated his offer, but I felt way too bad taking four Robux from this guy. He gave it to someone else though. There's a lot to be learned from that man. This game was kind of brutal, and I wanted to go to bed. 
Earlier, I had seen a really creative strategy I wanted to try though. People would put up a math equation on their sign, and then having the correct answer as a donation option. Genius. I wanted to try it for myself. I had an idea to do three different strategies while I slept. I would try this math strategy for like two hours, and the other two I would try for four hours each. So I set up a math problem with the answer being 10. But before I got off my computer, this guy ran up to my stand and said, it's 12. Oh really? Is it now? Yeah, so I sat there and argued with this guy for like five minutes. <laughs> Then I googled my problem to make sure I was right. But for his sake, I had a 12 as an option. Sure, man, there you go. And this lady walked up and she thought really hard for a second. And she picked 20. That's not even remotely close. Screw it though, she gave me 20 Robux. No complaints at all. I figured out a way to make my text all bold and colorful, set an alarm for two hours, then I went to bed. Before I tell you how much I made in those two hours, I want to go over what happened while I slept. First off, this guy ran up and said 10. Good for you, man. Him and his friend had matching outfits too, and it was adorable. And this random dude said 12, and this other guy said 10. Okay, in total from this strategy, I made 26 Robux. Yeah, not bad, right? But then you remember 20 of those Robux were from the girl at the beginning. So I really only made six Robux while I slept. That's why we're trying something new though. I was up for my two hour alarm and now it's time for my second genius strategy. Once again, I took the humble approach. I got rid of the flashy text, wrote a nice message and only added cheap options to my stand. I set my alarm for four hours and then I was back to bed. You hear that? That's the sound of me sleeping past my alarm. Next hour went by and I was finally awake again. And from that, I made a grand total of 32 Robux. Uh, could be better. Since I overslept, my next strategy could only be three hours. But it was the best idea so far. My plan was to be as normal as possible. Flashy text, generic message, expensive options, it was all there. I set an alarm for three hours and I was back to bed again. And I woke up and the challenge was done. 24 hours of donation games. But before I move on, let me tell you how much I made from the last strategy. 80 Robux from the most basic, simple thing I could have done. Um, but I did realize only two people donated total that entire time. So maybe all this information doesn't really mean anything because it's all random anyways. Kind of a crazy thought, right? But in total, from everything combined, throughout the span of those 24 hours, I had earned 303 Robux. Wait a second. Every time you sell something on Roblox, they take a 30% cut. So actually, I only made 212 Robux. But wait, I checked Fart Money's account, and I only had 183 Robux. That's far less than I expected, Roblox, what the heck? I checked my sales tab, I added it up, it made sense. So what was going on here? I did some testing with Laugh, and we figured it out. It has been purchased. Alright, let me check my, let me check my sales. Wow, would you look at that? Just to clarify, this one is sold in-game, and this one wasn't. Whenever you sell a product through these games, you get 10% less than you're supposed to. It seems like the missing 10% actually goes straight to the creators. So all the stupid taxes aside, in total, I made 183 Robux in 24 hours. And strangely enough, I got paid one Robux in premium payouts for the interview I set up earlier. Before I talk about whether it's worth it or not, let's break down the numbers a little bit. Including taxes, in Starving Artists, I made 8 Robux an hour. And in Please Donate, I made about 7 Robux an hour. Here's how much each strategy made though. And altogether, I made 7.5 Robux per hour. Okay, we get the point. Let's move past the nerdy stuff. So after this whole day, do I think it was worth it? Well, yes, but no. You kind of have to realize how pathetic it is to make 7.5 Robux per hour. If we roughly assume that one Robux is one cent, it would be far more efficient if I were to find a dime on the floor every hour than to play these games. McDonald's Happy Meals worth three times more than Fart Money 45. If I was that desperate for Robux as a kid, I would just do some chores or something. So what can we take away from today? If you really want to be that profitable, just get a job. That's pretty ironic, you make Roblox videos for a living. Yeah, 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 I don't want to hear it. Okay, jokes aside, in my opinion, you shouldn't really be playing these games for Robux. You should be playing them for fun. If you play with the intentions of making a lot of Robux, you're probably going to set yourself up for disappointment. So maybe play these games to practice your art skills or make new friends. So many people are obsessed with the idea of having Robux and being rich. But at the end of the day, if you're having fun, that's worth more than any amount of Robux or money you could ever ask for. And there's something really magical about that.